put the sunroof in there. All right. Um, what we're getting ready to do now, we're going to do a little bit of the uh, roof section. Here's a picture of the actual roof, and this is what we're going to be uh, modeling it after. So we're uh, getting ready to do the roof. What I've done here, I've kind of uh, pre-prepared it. I've got some of the uh, dull coat lacquer on there. Now what I'm going to do here, like we did before with the brush, I'm just going to start dropping it on there. Now I've got a little paper plate under there, so whatever I get excess, I can go back and put it back in the container okay. once I'm done. Now, with this here, as you can see, this picture here, the it's more of a slick finish. So I just kind of lightly start working it in. Now the reason why I do it this way is it it won't set so hard and make it so thick looking. So basically I'll just kind of take it and rub it back and forth to get the base down on it. And then once I get my first little layer on it, then I can go back over it with some more of the, la the uh, dough coat lacquer. That's my turn to run to the restroom. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little bit of a little bit of a base on there for the darts, because this side, if you noticed in the picture, was a little bit darker. So that's what my that's what I'm trying to shoot for. Okay. Okay. So once I got it to, got it to where I want where I've got this here. Now I'm going to take a little bit thicker brush. And start doing start doing the layers. Now when I do this, I just kind of dab it on. and do a little section at a time now. And you see with the wet, it's a little bit darker, which that's what we're trying to go for here. So you just did this like about these? A little bit more. Now, like I said, this is how I do it. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Some people may think, oh, this is a long process, but this is the one that I feel gives me what I'm looking for as far as the finish that I'm wanting. And uh, there, there's, there's different techniques to doing this. This is basically just doing a, uh, to me, it's it gives it more of a, to me, more of a realistic finish to it. I've done it with paints. I've done it with, uh, like I said, I've even used real rust. But this powder, I mean, it's uh, it's been the thing that's worked for me. All right. No more right there. Okay, now I'm gonna let that sit there for just a minute or two. Kind of roll it back and forth a little bit. As you see the excess, you just tap the excess back off on a plate. Okay, and then once the lacquer starts, I can see where it's starting to dry up. 
Then I'll take another brush and just kind of lightly, not swirl it in, but just kind of tap it in, kind of get it seated in with that, with that lacquer thinner. Now, as you can see, there's a little spot I missed right there. Intentionally, we're missing that at the moment because there is, on the real car, there is still some blue paint showing through there. So once I get uh, the main part of this done, then I can go back and touch up little spots here and there to get that part replicated. Did this come in that correct shine? Okay. Those are crystals. Where they came in. I don't know what they got in. That's what I've been looking for. Bob wire? Mm hmm. He might give you the Bob wire. He, all he's going to use off of is this. Oh, why? Right. Ask him. Okay. Okay, so oh, yeah. uh -huh. there's quite a bit, there's quite a bit of roof to do on this, but as you can see, once I've went over that, it's starting to smooth it down. I can even feel how smooth it's getting, but it's still, if you, you really, I don't know if the video is really doing it any justice or not, but if you can tell the difference in texture from the blue paint to the uh, pickup. To the a ninety to the uh, rust area on the roof there, you can see you can see a little bit of difference in it. And like yeah, I said, I went through my decals. This is this yeah, is just I'm, I'm, like a quick little anything. video we're doing on this this process here. In order for me to do the whole top of this car, you're probably looking at a maybe a two hour process to get the whole thing. But this is the process. That, like I said, this is just the process I use, and it. Uh, to me, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the realistic look to it. So this is the one that's worked best for me. Um, now, we do have other colors that's gonna be going into it. We'll have a lighter shade that bleeds into here. Uh, I might try to do just a quick little shot of that so you can see how that works. I get a little bit more of the lacquer. And if you notice, I don't use a whole lot of the lacquer. I just use enough to get her dabbed in. We got the picture of the real car there, Steve. I want to get my pattern yeah, right. Okay. I'm going to take that out of there. Alright, so we want to come up in here. This is for something totally different, but I use it for putting all on this good. Put them up. I'm going to go any further. There you go. Yeah, I pulled my shirt up the other day. She was like, oh my god, it looks like Ace Hardware in there. <laughs> I was like, what do you need? You need, you need wire? You need tubing? You need couplers? I got couplers and valves. Hospital by Chef Boy RD. Yeah. Hopefully they get to... As you can see in the picture of the actual roof, you still have a little bit of blue bleeding there, a little bit back here. So I'm leaving them areas kind of leaving them untouched at the moment. Then we can go into the fine detail on that later. But I just want to get the uh, the main sections pretty much how I want to get them. Now we're going to be using a, a little lighter powder this time. And with all the different colors of the powder there is, I've no, I've actually found out you can uh, change the color by adding a lighter color powder or a darker color powder, depending on whatever you're needing. Let's see, more right there in the front. I tell you what, that's a whole lot cheaper than using a, a lay hole. Rusty equipment, rusty stuff. 
I, I found it's cheaper cheaper to do it this way as well. And like I say, I don't, I don't really try to go too quick on it. I just kind of work my way around it, getting the, uh, especially when you have like, like in the real picture here, where you've actually still got some of the blue showing here in the, in the uh, center of the roof. This gives me the opportunity to go back if I need to dab a little spot here and there with a little touch-up blue. Then I don't have to uh, go through the process of having to remove any of the rust. We can just work our way through it. Now, on this one here, I'm going to add just a slight hair of a, a little bit lighter. To kind of give it that. It's even to me. Good look at that. Yes, and I hadn't forgot about it last week. But What's out? I hadn't forgot about you, but uh, he had called out his big boys and he didn't get that. Okay. Now, I see, called him. Once this, once this uh, lacquer is dried up underneath of it, you see it's gotten a little bit lighter than it was originally. So, per the real picture, it's a little bit darker in some spots. So then. I'll get a little darker powder and just do a small, small bit of a brush, brush over on it. Is still on? No, because it fills both tanks. Well, does it? Is that a crossover tank? Yeah, I just switch. Yeah, there's a tube that goes from tank to tank. Oh, I see. Okay. I had like an old saddle tank, by the way. I had a... A 90 uh, Ford pickup truck that had two tanks on one side and it just switched over. Yeah. Just put the switch on it. Well, I was just noticing that this had a tank on each side, and uh, you know, like you said, I said they have a crossover too that goes over from one tank to the other. Thank you. I'm trying to clean it up. Yeah, there's What about the lighter color over in here? I think those are about forty fours. And what we'll do there, I want to do like Steve was showing here. He wants to do a little, a little lighter color right here. So. What we'll do there, we just take the smaller brush, and in these areas right here, try to get that shape and pattern as close as we can there. Kind of looks like a little dog leg there of some sort. Okay, now I'm actually going to take a just a little bit lighter powder, sprinkle right over that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'll let that set. I'll let that set and dry just for a little bit, being that it does still have a little bit of the uh, lacquer, so kind of tacky on it. But uh, that's how I go back and touch up and make more spots, like in the areas here, where I want it a little bit lighter. I, uh, I try to replicate it 
as close as the real thing as possible in, in the pattern. When are we doing that? Thursday? No, not next Saturday is IPMS. Oh, exactly. Saturday after that. Saturday after that. Next Saturday's IPMS? Yeah. Oh, Lord, I need some money. Okay. Don't we all? <laughs> okay, Steve, he's going to, we're going to paint that car. Okay. What color primer did you have on the real car? Yeah. Gray? Okay, I've got gray primer. I just want to make sure that we'll use the right primer. Can you send these? Where are the bumpers? Where are the bumpers painted on the road car? Can I use that bare metal stuff on these? Yeah, you'd be better off just uh, using the chrome pen. Yeah, but it don't. That little one you get, it stops before you get. I'll take them home. I'll build. I've got, I got the four millimeter one, the nice. big one. Yeah, that little one you can't do stuff. I'll get it with that. No, you can't do big stuff with that. Uh -huh. With that little one. It'll stop up. Yeah. Quit working. I'll take those with me, and then I'll do them. Okay, and as you can see, doing them little spots. This is starting to look. The little spots like this here. I'll just go back, go over that, and just keep putting a lighter and lighter. And then if I get it a little I bit too dark, pen, uh, I can go right back over it with a little darker, to make it too light. In the car. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a, again, this is this is just something that I picked up. This was some material I had left over from my model railroading days. I uh, started using it on the models, and I actually like how it comes out because when you're when it's all said and done, uh, to me, it actually gives you that texture that if you was actually feeling the real car. I um, mean, I'm going to let Steve give it to test there. Uh, just give it a feel, Steve, right there on that roof and tell me what you feel. Feels good. Feels, it's, Feels yeah, it, it don't. You can video, feel the patina. <laughs> the video don't do it any justice. I mean, it, it it actually has a texture to it as if you was actually feeling the roof of an actual car. So that's why I picked up this process. I, I like putting as much realism and, uh, you know, the technical things into them as possible. That's why I, uh, I got a, all of a sudden got this, uh, what do you want to call it, a passion for the rusty vehicles. That's why I enjoy building the rat rods. It, uh, it just adds more realism to them. And uh, with, this, with this process here, with this process You're here, it, it just brings out the, the realism a lot more. So. Hey, hold on. Yes. We'll put her on YouTube, too. <laughs> You're on candid camera. Hi. You're, You're going to be on afternoon. YouTube. <laughs> Jeremy, would you mind introducing this young lady to us? This is Crystal, one of my nurses. His best and favorite she, nurse. she keeps me aligned. I yeah. can see why. <laughs> she uh, she calls me out and, and on all my bull crap. Yeah, we gotta keep all of our supplies under wraps. You know, we <laughs> come up the the speakers on the on our little computers and stuff come up missing. We know where they at. You're gonna have know? to change the sign out front <laughs> yeah. from Methodist Hospital to Methodist Hospital yeah, and Hobby Supplies. Broke. We call Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, can you fix this for us? <laughs> hey, you didn't know you had a resident plastic surgery. Hey, yeah, we know. Yeah, there you go. We know. <laughs> we know. Hey, I will tell you one thing. If anything's plastic you need fixed, the super glue and the accelerator he's got will fix it he in one it. minute. Well, he's been trying to fix our little model train. Have you guys seen that by the coffee the big stand? Big train downstairs. Oh, oh yeah. He's been yeah. trying to get to fixing that. I don't. I keep telling him he can't do it though. Oh, I, I bet he can. I bet you $100. He I can. said he can. I know I can. I don't have to think. I know. I don't know. We're going to have to bet on that. If I can build a car, I'm pretty sure I can fix the train. Even your Mercedes. Yeah. I know. I already lost a bet to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet know. he doesn't even feel least bit bad about it. No, because I wasn't going to feel bad about taking his money. But. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad either because I didn't get paid, so... <laughs> Oh, you got cheated. <laughs> she told no, me her check was no, short that week. No, I bought you a shake or whatever yesterday. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you there go. You go. I tell you what. Debt's paid. 
I, I tell you, I tell you what, you hang around this club. I said nobody gets paid. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, we, every, everything's barter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that's true. We always pay. Yeah. That's, that's the best oh, way to do it. Oh, so oh really? I really? Oh, oh yeah. Pay. Hey. Okay. Other oh, you even beat you out of it. <laughs> So what you down here making? Mini mic. Oh, that's nice, Rust. We are. We're uh, doing that car right there, Jezebel. Okay. Where's your roof picture? You just got right here. Is that real rust? Jumping in? Well, it's, it's a powder. It's a colored oh. powder. Is all it is. Oh, okay. It's like, it's just like a chalk. What do you call it? Uh, pastel. Pastel. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Oh, it's like, it's like some real rust. Yeah. Oh, this is neat, Jeremy. This is all you need is to find a new technique. I'll be everything in my room will be rusty. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've already, I've already got paint all over everything. Yeah. I've already uh, made the mistake of going well, outside and spray painting. We're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap this video up yeah. for today. Um, yeah. Again, this is the technique that I use. Um, if anybody has any, uh, you know, if anybody has any questions or comments about it, feel free to uh, hit me up. I'll be more than glad to walk you through the process. Um, be nice, you know. It's uh, it's a process I like using. Um, I've seen a few other people that's used the process, especially like on uh, military models and things like that. So, but anyway. See, I, that's I the uh, stuff that's the tip here. for today. Um, again, this is Dave down, uh, uh, down here at the down here at the Methodist Hospital yeah. with Anything the uh, Circle like City Modelers and Club and today and with uh, yeah. Jeremy Carr at his first also, meeting. He's got to attend with us. So, um, and the beginning of Jezebel. <laughs> and the begin the beginning of Jezebel. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the completion on this car. Like I said, I'm just kind of helping Steve out with this on the uh, weathering process. Process. Steve's going to do the uh, final construction of the car with all the uh, engine detail and everything, just like uh, just like the owner has it set up. So, look, uh, like I say, I'm looking forward to seeing the completed uh, project. All right, well, that's going to be it for today. Again, this is Dave down here at the Rat's Nest. Uh, not so much the Rat's Nest that you're used to seeing me at, but the uh, the Rat's Nest. A home away from home. We're up here with our Methodist edition. Yeah, there you go. We're down here with our buddy uh, Jeremy. So, y'all take care. This is old Dave. We'll talk at you later. He, He lives.